In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the text tool. And the text tool belongs to the construction toolbar and that can be found under view toolbars and, and then construction. So there's a few different options you can do with the, uh, the text tool. So if I click on it, um, I can touch a corner for example, click and bring out that and it tells me the dimensions of, of that bottom part. Um, so yeah, that's a 14 meter long building by 8,000 by 2 meters, which is quite handy. Um, I can click on the face there and it tells me the area of that face. Um, or you can just type in a label if you wanted to just say uh, roof cladding, um, long run, blah blah blah, and then click away. So I just double clicked on that, typed it in, and click. So these, these text tools, are these uh, annotations are quite handy because they always face you. Um, another thing we can do is we can click out to the side here and just start typing um, project uh, project um, AA for example. And that text just sits there on screen and doesn't move. So the text tool is um, a leader text and it's just a, a standard text. Um, we can go under model info, so window model info, or actually use the model info button on the standard toolbar, and you can go to the text here, and you can choose different fonts, so you might say, uh, actually I want that to be just a little bit smaller, I want to use uh, a different font, go OK, um, the leader text fonts uh, are slightly different to the screen text, so you need to select those two, so uh, you have to get 10, um, and you'll need to choose your font. And once you're happy with that, you can select all text on screen and then update. Then you can select all um, screen text as well and then update. Okay, so you can, you've got full control over how you want that. Um, you can also choose for the leader lines if we select all again. You've got closed arrows, but you've got dots and open arrow. Um, and then leader, we can have a push pin or a view based, um, but we use push pin for that. Okay, and you can see we've now got an open arrow and um, slightly different cladding, uh, sorry, slightly different font for our, our, our notes. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you as well um, with the leader text is let's say we had this building here. I'm going to right click on it after selecting it and then make it a component. And I'm just going to call it um, building AA. All right, so just it's very important when you're making components to give it a uh, a name that relates to uh, whatever you're trying to do, um, and make sure that replace selection with component is ticked, and then say create. Okay, so now that it's a component, um, we've saved a little bit of info with that component. So when we use the text tool and we click on the building it tells us its name. So that's quite handy because uh, it, it's a, when you've got lots of components and you just want to quickly label them um, you can just click on that and it remembers those uh, that information. Um, and again if we were to, um, wanting to do that particular text where we found um, the dimensions of the building we could right click and um, edit the component just can't quite see it because the dialogue's off the screen. Right click, edit component, get the leader text and put the text with inside the component and then you'll get you'll get that dimension. So that's pretty much the basics of the, the text tool. Um, it's great for 3D models in a 3D space if you want the, the text to be looking at you um, when you're displaying a 3D model. But for documentation, again, I would recommend using the layout. Uh, it's much easier to use and um, a little bit more precise. And we'll be getting into a tutorial later with that.